how do you fall in love with the grind now i want to read you a bit of an excerpt from a book that i've been enjoying on mountain climbers psychology a bit of business and i estimate it's going to take us about three minutes so i've got a cup of coffee and i'm really looking forward to sharing some valuable valuable information inside of this book called scrum which was recommended to me by my brother So we're starting here at chapter seven on happiness. People want to be happy, not happy in a complacent sheep-like way, but in a way that is more active. Thomas Jefferson, among many others, extolled the kind of happiness that comes from a pursuit. Pursuits do seem to be what make us happy. Scrum done in the right way will make workers customers, managers, and stockholders happy, usually in that order. Real happiness doesn't come easy. I met a mountain climber once who sold me a photo of the top of the Himalayas as the sun was setting. He took it shortly after he reached the peak of Mount Everest solo, too late in the day. It seemed impossible to get back to base camp before dark. If he didn't, he was certain to freeze to death. The poignancy of the photo reflected his feelings as he wrote what he thought might be his last note, that he was happy to have achieved the peak despite the fact that whoever may read the note might find him dead. If you speak to mountain climbers about an expedition, they won't spend much time talking about the experience of submitting a peak. Instead, they'll talk about the frigid temperatures, painful blisters, the bad food, the crappy conditions, and the bulky equipment. And they'll tell you that after the elation of reaching the summit, there's usually a letdown. Unless the near-death experience continues, they've done it. Their struggle has achieved something. But if you ask them when they were happiest, They'll tell you it was in those moments of trial, of pushing their bodies, minds, and spirits to the limit. That's when they were the happiest, when they experienced true joy. And that's what they want to experience again. On the face of it, no sane person would voluntarily put herself through that kind of thing twice. Yet climbers seen unable to stop themselves, challenging peak after peak, seeking joy in pursuit of the next summit. What's fascinating is that most cultures are not set up to reward and encourage that specific type of happiness. Most cultures are not set up to encourage or reward that type of happiness. And that happiness is the pursuit, the pursuit towards goal, which is the grind, right? Professor Tal Ben-Shahar taught the most popular course at Harvard University, Positive Psychology. In his book, Happier, Ben-Shahar writes, We are not rewarded for enjoying the journey itself, but for the successful completion of a journey. Society rewards results, not processes. Arrivals, not journeys. But our day-to-day life is mostly made up of journeys. We don't submit peaks every day or make the big score or get a big bonus. Most of our days are taken up by striving toward our goals, whatever they may be. In a company, the goal may be to deliver that next great product or make people's lives a little bit better with it or solve some problem that vexes the world. But if we get rewarded only for results, not processes, we're going to be pretty miserable. Now, why? Why, why is it that we'll be miserable if we only reward results and not the journey? Well, Ben Shahar's thinking in his Harvard course on happiness is that most of your life is spent in pursuit, not at the end goal. And this is something you already know, right? If you go on a hike, you spend most of your time climbing the mountain 
and maybe you spend 20 or 30 minutes on top of the mountain enjoying a cup of coffee or a cup of tea but the problem is that if you decide to build a story around only enjoying that 20 or 30 minutes at the top you do not have a relationship with the process to getting to that top and because you spend most of your life in that process of getting to the top you you therefore spend most of your life in anticipation of the top rather than actually climbing and rather than actually enjoying the blisters the bruises the sweat and the fresh air on your face Thank you so much for joining me for a morning reading and a nice cup of coffee. If you're interested in joining a brotherhood network where we gamify your goals and we help you level up through group accountability, weekly growth calls, and we ultimately make your dream goals and the process, the journey towards those goals, 10 times as fun as if you were to do them alone. You can sign up below. Have an awesome day further.